spring from New Mexico, it's Jeff Wood. I just got back from Albuquerque. Yeah. And I, uh, like every good American, I am on the dole. Yeah. Uh, so I had the, the Medicaid therapy. And in Albuquerque, I went to my therapy at First Nations Medical. Uh, <laughs> First Nations. Which I thank them for having me. Uh, I thought that was appropriate. I was like, thanks, you guys. This is really, you are so much nicer than us. You know what I mean? <laughs> wow. Uh, and so the therapy room was really, really small, like so small. I was like, God, I went in the room and I sat with the girl who's a young native girl. And I, and I said, oh my God, what was this, a closet before you had it? And she goes, yeah, it was a closet. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck. All right. And then uh, I, I said, I saw your name was Crystal. Uh, oh man, you know, all the girls I know named Crystal really had a hard time growing up. You know, either their moms loved rocks or <laughs> their moms loved rocks. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> and she goes, uh, oh yeah, my family, huh? And I was like, okay, we're here to talk about me, Crystal. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Don't take up my time. <laughs> here, you discuss the city. Uh, I loved Albuquerque. I loved it the most because my friend, one of my best friends told me, I'd never been there, and he told me, he goes, Jess, you're gonna love Albuquerque, it's so you. Like, and I was like, oh, all right. And I'm thinking, oh, beautiful, you know, jewelry, rugs, native. Uh, and I get there, and it's all just sex trafficking, drunk driving, <laughs> methamphetamines, and gun violence. Uh, oh, it's totally me, you guys, is what I'm saying. <laughs> it's totally me. And so I, I got in there, and I was like, I'm I'm down. I'm down with all this stuff. I mean, there was a there was a gunfight in the courtyard. Yes, a gunfight like old west. <laughs> that shit was, pew pew, you know. And uh, <laughs> and I've seen gunfights before, but never have I seen the police show up and say to the man shooting the gun, "Hey, uh, just go inside. Huh? <laughs> just go inside." That's how regular it was to have guns out there, like. On 420, one of the comedians that I hung out with got shot. On 420, <laughs> the most beautifulest day <laughs> in the world. <laughs> and this one, people, nine people were shot that night. <laughs> Albuquerque is uptight, you know? <laughs> they got some issues in Albuquerque. Albuquerque. Uh, a lot of drunk driving. So much drunk driving, there's comics that make jokes about drunk driving and get applause breaks. <laughs> uh, it's, uh, it's an intelligent town. Uh, <laughs> filled with scholars. Uh, yeah, uh, I could never talk about the news shit. They, um, they, uh, uh, I, I talked a lot about the weather because the weather there was insane. The weather was insane, and the Amber Alerts were insane. Uh, and I put those together because you would turn on the morning news, and the weatherman would come on, and he'd be like, "Oh, good morning, Albuquerque. All right, it's 30 below right now. Get your coats, get your parkas, get your hats." It's gonna be freezing, but around noon, just pull that all off, because it's gonna be about 117, so you can some short shorts and your sunblock, and at five o'clock, a child will be taken. See you at eight. <laughs> 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 I had to turn off my Amber Alerts on my phone. That's how distracting it was. I mean, I was like, you guys, I don't have a kid. I don't care about kids, you know what I mean? Like, I don't know, who do I know in a white pickup? You know, I, I can't help. I had to turn that shit off. I couldn't help them. And uh, I love I loved taking the bus out there because I had just moved back from my hometown of Los Angeles, where if you tell someone you took the bus, oh my god, <laughs> is your life tragic? <laughs> Uh, and then you come to New York, you take the bus, and everybody's like, of course you take the bus. Everybody takes the bus. Why wouldn't you take the bus? <laughs> uh, and in Albuquerque, not a lot of people on the bus, but enough, you know. And, and I was on the bus one day, and this dude came up to me. I'm very attracted to a homeless. So <laughs> I'll just say, preface it with that. A homeless, a cute little bedroll. And uh, he came up, and he, he said to me, uh, hey, uh, you got a dollar? And I said, uh, I'm on the bus with you. <laughs> and he said, that's a good point. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's smart. You know, street smart out there, street smart. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I had a, a 
good time out there. I played at a German club, mm. which I'd never, yeah, I'd never oh, yeah. played at a German club before. And yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, and and as my aunt, my aunt is funny, she's old school, so my aunt's always like, Germans, when you, when you, I, I know I'm, I shouldn't say this, but when I think of Germans, Nazis. I think Nazis. <laughs> you think Nazis? And I was like, no, I think shit. I think shit on uh, fucking. You know what yeah. I mean? It was shit. It was shit, sir. I believe it's because the scientific word. Sorry. But, uh, yeah, so I played at this Jewish club, and the green room was in the library, and I was sitting in there alone for a few minutes, and I was looking at all the books, and I was looking at how they were bound, and I was like, Grandma? <laughs> so sick. That was disgusting. <laughs> There's like four Jews in Albuquerque, <laughs> and uh, but there, but actually, most of the natives there are Jewish, and I asked what? them because yes, I asked them because let me tell you something. The profiles on these motherfuckers look like my grandpapa. You know what I mean? I was like, hold on, Bubby. You know? <laughs> so uh, I asked them like, how long you been in Albuquerque, New Mexico? And they go, oh, 400 years. Our family's been here. Oh fuck. Where were we before that? Spain. Well, did you have to leave quickly? Uh, yes. Chew! <laughs> Mel Brooks wrote a song about it. <laughs> I love that the truth gets that fucking reference. Who is this? Hey. Uh, yeah, and I did, I met a very uh, nice, uh, lovely, handsome gentleman out there who was not homeless, thank God. He lived with his parents. Uh, <laughs> 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 fuck you guys, judges. <laughs> like I'm young. Like I'm young. And at least he had a place to live. You know what I mean? God bless. And again, but, uh, but he, was, he was gorgeous. He was a Hopi gentleman. And uh, every time he left, I hoped he'd come back. Uh, <laughs> come on! Uh, so I, had, I always like to say that. It makes me happy. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but he was uh, younger. You know, he was in his 20s, which I like. I like a 20-something guy. Uh, I think I I really believe it's just because I think all my abortions are coming back to date me. <laughs> Come back, son. It's your original home. <laughs> Make yourself comfortable. All right, my name's Jess. Thanks, guys. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Hilarious.